Okay. So all my drives are in. I've got all those the SATA cables, everything else, all figured out. They're all labeled. So I've got it set up that my um, array, starting with my parity and then data one through five down there, are all running off of my, uh, you can kind of see it in there, it's got the blue glow on the bottom, that SATA controller there that runs in the PCIe. And then I've got everything that's labeled Jasmine on the bottom controller. So Jasmine T drive, those are gonna be rated. Jasmine E drive, my eight terabyte hard drive. And uh, then Ariel D drive there, which um, Ariel is gonna be my workstation. So I've also got that 128 gig SSD that I'm actually just gonna use for some uh, torrenting type stuff, I guess. Um, and then my E drive there, and of course the NVMEs as well. Um, right now, I just, uh, well, okay. So I have Unraid already installed on it and have the, the flash disk all set up. So I've, I've actually got an existing Unraid, but I'm gonna wipe out the configuration and remake it and do that, which I can show that process. I've also got another USB drive in and I've actually got those hooked up to my USB 2 ports, just so if I'm, um, when I dedicate out my USB 3, I don't have any troubles with that. Those will always just be for Unraid. But that second one, I formatted that drive in XFAT, and I'm just moving over a copy of Windows 10, so I can uh, that ISO, so I can um, show the templates where to find it for when I go to install the, the Windows VMs. Um, this is my Unraid breakup of basically what. I'm assigning to Unraid, so that USB 2 controller is going to take it. It takes the Unraid OS, right? Um, the amount of RAM that I'm going to end up giving to it, it's going to have the 10 gigabit Aquantia um, network cable on it as well. I'm going to give it eight eight CPU cores, or I mean, um, is is basically how it's going to work, or like eight threads is what it is. So what we've got the breakup of is two dedicated just to Unraid. Two are going to be shared between Unraid and the Arc server because the Arc server doesn't really run a lot. So most of the time, Unraid will have full access to four of them, and then four go out to my Plex server, and then the disks and stuff. Which I have the serial numbers now, and I should actually fill in the serials. And then for my cache drive, I'm going to use that Intel 660p because I can't have Linux boot off of it. And then I've basically broken up my scripts here. So how it works is Ariel is going to be this desktop here with the triple monitors, right? It's going to get 12 dedicated cores, 24 gigs of RAM, and one of my 1080 Ti's. I want to give it one of the NVMe controllers, the um, bottom controller is the plan. It's going to get one of those 8 ADA um, NVMe's, the 2 terabyte Evo, um, the 8 uh, terabyte uh, enterprise drive that I have too, and then I should actually update that I'm going to do F with a 128 gig drive too. And then it's going to get 1080, my, my one 1080 Ti. I've got two of them. One doesn't quite clock as high, and I'm going to put it on this system because I do most of my gaming on my TV. I'm also going to give it the onboard audio, and it's going to get one of the USB controllers that's on my um, that's on my uh, I'm drawing a blank on the ASRock X399 board the gaming professional so and then it's gonna get one Intel NIC as well so like that's what it'll be and then Jasmine which in all honesty is very similar it's just the different discs because I've got the two one terabyte SSDs instead of the two terabyte so that'll be rated it might even be a little bit faster but that's the breakdown of the drives it's gonna have my other 1080 Ti um, now it's got an onboard USB 3 controller as well and this is the ASRock one that's on the board and then I'm going to do the add-on controller as well because it's also going to have my um, my VR system with the, the four cameras, so it's going to need it. And then I'm going to give it the other um, Intel 1 gigabit NIC. So each one is going to get a 1 gigabit NIC, and then I'm going to give the 10 gigabit to the RAID array. Now this is also a script, but this is not a new VM. This is actually just a modification of the install of Jasmine, and I'm gonna do uh, a more standard script. And when I load this one up, we get 24 dedicated um, CPUs, 48 gigs of RAM. It's got both 1080 Ti's in the script that it's gonna load in with SLI capability, right? 
and then it's going to have all of the exact same discs and the USB settings of this one. I'm not going to change it up. I'm not going to add the extra USB in. It'll just remain the same. It's just basically what I'm doing is going to be turning off the Arial script and I'll, I'll turn off the Jasmine script too because I'm going to run the, the Jasmine main, right? But it's just beefing this one up with the extra CPU cores, the extra RAM, the extra video card and then uh, I can turn it back down and then load this one in and every time Windows boots it'll re-add that card in and not. So when you switch back and forth you're, you're kind of taking hardware in and out quite a bit. And I have found that I can mess up the Microsoft service interrupts, the, the MSI, it's, but I, there's actually like a batch file that you can launch that will just quickly, or it's not even a batch file, it's like a little little program, I don't know if it's an EXE or what, but I've got it and basically you run it and it quickly reads the registry and it'll find out if your video cards and like all your devices that are MSI capable, if they're registered in the computer as it or not, and if they're not, you just hit the checkbox, hit apply, recheck it and it's good. Um, this problem you're probably going to run into, especially with NVIDIA cards, it's been known, it's, it, it is an issue. Somebody made this program and it's just awesome, I've kept it around, so uh, when it comes time to use it, I'm going to actually show, show you guys it. I'll, I'll show you when I hit a situation, I get audio stuttering and things and games aren't running right and then you know you run, you fix your MSIs and then everything's good again, which that one took me a little while to figure out, so that's why I want to do like uh, video documentation of it. So it looks like um, everything's finished here. I'm gonna stop this video because this was just like uh, me kind of talking about the setup and then my next video starting is when I'll actually go into um, the BIOS. We're gonna change a few settings. I'm gonna reboot, load up into Unraid and start doing a bit of stuff there in the video.